Hi there and welcome to this webinar which focuses on allergen management within food service outlets. We will cover the legal requirements of food businesses in terms of allergens and we will provide an overview of our allergen management software MenuCal. We hope you find this webinar useful and if you have any questions please use the contact us link at the top of the MenuCal page or email us on menucal at fsai.ie and we will get back to you. We will now look at the legal requirements of food businesses in terms of food allergens. Two pieces of legislation govern allergens. The first is FIC, which stands for Food Information to Consumers. This is EU-wide and is Regulation 1169. The second is Irish legislation SI 489. This piece of legislation states that we must provide written information to consumers about allergens. This legislation covers non-pre-packed foods. The definition of this, as per the legislation, is anything sold without packaging, packed on the premises at the customer's request, or pre-packed for direct sale. The law states that as a minimum, allergen information must be provided in written format at either the point of presentation, the point of sale, or the point of supply. Information can also be provided verbally in addition to written format. Here are some examples of statements which are not allowed to be used and do not comply with the legislation. The first, if you have any questions on food allergies, please ask a member of staff. We use all of the following allergens in this restaurant and then the allergens are listed. This again is not compliant with the legislation. All of our foods may contain the following allergens. And lastly, this restaurant does not cater for people with food allergies or intolerances. None of these statements are in compliance with the legislation. There are 14 categories of allergens which are required by law to be listed. It is important to remember that there are not 14 allergens but 14 categories. Those circled in red are examples of types of allergens within which there are many more than just one. These include gluten, crustaceans, eggs, fish, peanuts, soybeans, milk, nuts, celery, mustard, sesame seeds, sulfur dioxide and sulfites, lupin and mollusks. Take the tree nut category for example. There is not just one type of tree nut. There are eight different types. This includes almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, cashew, pecan, brazil, pistachio, macadamia and products thereof. Pine nuts, chestnuts and coconuts are not listed in the legislation as they are not considered to be a common allergy within the EU. Again, with the fish category, there are many different species of fish, likewise with the crustacean category. Here are two recommended ways in which you can correctly label your allergens on a menu. The first is to list each menu item and under it or nearby place the word contains followed by the allergens. The second is to use a legend format. Each allergen is assigned a number and this is then written beside the menu item with the word contains. It is also advisable to have a central notice to customers that allergen information is available and if you have a designated allergen folder to signpost this. Labelling allergens at a buffet, it is advised to label the allergen beside each dish. It is also important not to forget special boards or condiments as the allergens in these must also be listed. 
We will now look at how you can label your allergens using the FSAI's Allergen Management Software, MenuCal. MenuCal was developed by the FSAI. It has been tested and shown to be fit for purpose. Involved in its development were teams of chefs, nutritionists and IT specialists. The data used in MenuCal ensures that you comply with both EU and Irish law and its software contains the foods that we eat in Ireland and the correct portion sizes. Best of all, it's free. This is the MenuCal homepage. You may be familiar with this, but for those of you who aren't, the homepage includes interactive training, short videos if you are struggling with any particular part of the site. The tool is tailor-made for food businesses. When you use it, you are customising it to suit the needs of your business. You can add your own brands of ingredients that you use in your kitchen. If you need to update an ingredient, it will automatically update in all of the recipes it is used in. I will give you an example of this in a few moments. You can also print your allergen information. I will take you through the main features of MenuCal using the format of our interactive training which is linked on the home page. The key points are that you can access any part of the training at any time. You don't even need to be a registered user. The training is laid out in a user-friendly and interactive way going through the starter, main and dessert. I will take you through the various steps of the interactive training now. Getting started is all about getting organised. The first thing you need to do is know your brands. Know the allergens in these brands. Check for product changes so that if something does change in an ingredient that you are aware Ensure, if a product has been substituted by a supplier, that the allergens are the same as the original product. In terms of recipes, it is important to have all of your recipe information in one place. This will make uploading the information to MenuCal much easier. Check the products delivered. Sometimes suppliers might give a replacement product if the original is not available but the allergens could be completely different on this product. Never accept a product that does not have written information available. Allergen information must be supplied. If a food business switches supplier, they need to recheck allergens. It is also important to remember to think before decanting. It would be advisable to retain labelling and stick this to the new container if a product is decanted. This is a possible source of error leading to losing track of allergen information. The main course is all about getting down to business and the responsibilities of all of those working in the business. Everyone working in a food business has a role to play in allergen management. It is the manager's responsibility to provide adequate staff training in relation to allergens. It is also their responsibility to ensure a system is in place to allow staff to easily keep allergen information up to date. It is the waiter or waitress's responsibility to listen to consumers and make sure that their needs are communicated effectively to the kitchen. Chefs must stick to the recipe and communicate any modifications if these are made. They must also watch out for allergens in garnishes and substitute ingredients. Time for dessert. All of the hard work is done. The procedures for allergen management have been put in place. Once allergen information has been inputted into MenuCal, there are two different ways in which you can print off this information and display it. The first is through using the Allergen Info Sheet. This is located on the Recipes page. This is a grid which will be populated for you and includes all of the recipes which you have entered into your MenuCal account. It will have the recipes listed on the left of the page and on the top you will see all of the allergens they contain. 
This can then be printed out and displayed in your establishment. The second is individual sheets with each recipe which lists the ingredients and the relevant allergens. Printing and displaying and keeping either up to date will be compliant with the legislation. There are many everyday challenges a food business faces in terms of allergen management. These include seasonal menus, staff changes and potential changes in ingredients delivered by suppliers. MenuCal has functions to overcome all of these challenges. Using a computerised system is the most effective way to keep allergens up to date. I will now give you an example of some of the everyday challenges faced by food businesses and how MenuCal can help to overcome these. This is a small family run business. They know all of their ingredients and they make all of their dishes from scratch. They use Flynn stock in almost all of their dishes. They know that celery is the only allergen and that is what their menu says. However, one day a delivery arrives and the head chef realises that Flynn's have created a new and improved Flynn stock and now it contains more allergens so instantly their menus need to be updated. This can be done with one click of a button using MenuCal. By editing the item Flynn stock all of the recipes will be updated. In this example I will show you how our allergen free search can be used. Here we have two consumers both with food allergies. The first lady is allergic to gluten and asks the food business owner if he has any cakes that are gluten free. The second lady is allergic to eggs and she asks if there are any cakes which don't include eggs. Without MenuCal this would be a difficult question to tackle on the spot especially if the food business owner has an extensive menu. Luckily this food business owner uses MenuCal so is well prepared and says the request is no problem. All the food business owner needed to do was log in to his menu call, go to My Menus, click on Allergen Free Search and enter the ingredients which he wishes to exclude so it was gluten and eggs and this will then search all of his recipes and show him the recipes which don't include either of these allergens. This search can then be printed out and kept handy for any other requests like this. There are a number of ways which the Food Safety Authority supports businesses and the food industry to comply with allergen labelling law. There are a number of leaflets available, including this one, which is available online and is regularly updated. It answers the questions that people regularly have about food allergies and intolerances. It is really useful and easy to understand. This second one goes further into the legislation, detailing the requirements of each type of catering establishment, be it mass caterers, restaurants, takeaways, contract catering, retail and electronic orders. You can also contact Food Safety Authority advice line. This is usually the first point of contact for the public. And also the Food Safety Authority website. There is lots of information on allergens, legislation and resources. Through the website you can also sign up for allergen alerts. This means that if the FSAI issue an alert on a product which contains allergens, you will instantly receive a text message. The MenuCal website also provides support via email. We can be connected using the Contact Us tab at the top of the page. Thank you for listening to this webinar and remember if you have any questions please contact us through the MenuCal homepage.